Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Space Marine Storm Eagle from Forge World. It's right here in this box set. It will cost you £110. I've been meaning to pick one up for ages. It's been out of stock for a long time. It's £6 cheaper than a Fire Raptor, um, but probably just as difficult, if not more. It's a challenging kit because it's a hybrid kit. It's plastic and resin hybrid, uh, but I'm up for a challenge and I would love to go through a live stream and build the whole thing with you. So let's uh, unbox this with my penetratingly powerful blade. So in here, we've got a little advert for Warhammer Plus. We're gonna be getting this a, a lot throughout uh, these unboxings. And then it comes in one of these large white boxes. Um, it says Space Marine Storm Eagle Assault Gunship. On the Forge World website, it just says Storm Eagle. Um, it, as I said, it's a hybrid kit uh, with resin and plastic. Uh, it's a bit of a challenge I've heard. So looking forward to a challenge. Probably be building this and the Fire Raptor uh, in, in a live stream. You've got some airbags. You've got this, which I'm really, it's really odd that they bundle these in the in the cardboard because it's, it, although it's reinforced cardboard, um, when they bundle these together, uh, I, I guess it stops them from bending too much. Uh, but in reality, when you get them, they're very, very bent. Uh, I don't know what they can do about this, probably put them in uh, something that keeps them straight uh, each separately, um, because this is not, it's not the way to do it. I mean, look how wibbly wobbly that is. It's really bent out of shape. Um, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, I, my preferential tool, my preferred uh, tool is uh, it's a hairdryer um, and gently just, you know, maneuver these places uh, so that they're level, but these are probably gonna be the most difficult parts of the whole kit. These uh, side pieces for the, uh, the hull. Anyway, that's those. Um, you're also getting this very crumpled up, uh, you know, cockpit uh, canopies. Uh, you're getting part of the Storm Raven kit, three sprues. So you've got the, the top hull, um, uh, the entryway, the rear, uh, some of the wings. Um, you're getting the tail, a uh, load of weaponry uh, there as well. Specifically, the, the front weapon is, is what, they, uh, what they use. On this kit, uh, you've got some more um, assault ramps, uh, more weapons, the inside interior, the, some, some of the interior parts, some winglets, all the thrusters, uh, and some side doors as well. Um, so there's those. Um, and then you've got the resin parts, like the Fire Raptor. I think the Fire Raptor came out, uh, I want to say, um, four bags, maybe? I'd need to go back and look at my uh, unboxing. So this was made very recently, 22nd of June. So only a few months ago, which is odd because it was out of stock for some time. But I think that's more likely because of the uh, product code uh, refresh that they've done for a lot of their models. Um, but anyway, made in June. These are your amazing instruction uh, steps uh, that they're, they're so fantastic that they've even added some kind of like aging filter uh, on, onto the parts to make them look more more like a relic. Uh, I'm just pulling your leg. Um, it, it's just terrible, terrible printing quality, terrible instructions. Not what you, you know, what we can expect uh, from a hundred and ten pound kit. Uh, if I was Forge World, I'd, I'd be getting, I'd be paying someone full time to um, change all of the instruction guides. Even if uh, these models were designed before CAD, and you can't just move those over to an instruction guide, I'd, I'd still have them. Yeah, at least in colour or something like that. You know, you just don't expect this from such an expensive kit anymore um, going off of the, the Moiraxes and the uh, Atrapos. Um, but yeah, 2012 uh, when this Storm Eagle uh, was first uh, uh, created. And so nine years ago now, can you believe we're almost 10 years since uh, this first came out? Uh, holds 20 Space Marines as well. Uh, so that's how you kind of put it together. It's gonna be a bit of a pain but I am uh, very, 
but I am up for the challenge. I think it looks a lot like the dropship from Aliens, if you've seen that film. Uh, I like the missiles. I did like the missiles in the alien ship that kind of came out of the uh, the dropship as well. That was quite cool. Um, I mean, obviously that dropship is bigger because it could hold, you know, technically like a an APC or whatever. Anyway, they're the instruction guides. I say guides, it's just pictures. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the uh, resin pieces then. So there's a few things missing that you'd find in the Fire Raptor kit, uh, notably the, the two ball turrets that fire the autocannons or the quad heavy bolters. Wow, look at that. That is, that is... <laughs> We need to. I think we need to go back to the forge world. This storm eagle was made. Made. I mean, that is. <sighs> yeah. So you can see the challenge already. Um, that might even be worth putting into some uh, very hot water uh, to to go back to normal. That is. That is very very bent. Um, you've got this top part which looks quite solid and straight. So that's nice. Um, a couple of air bubbles that popped, but that quite solid. Bit of detail there. It's nice. Uh, you get these to do with the wings, I think. Uh, oh, you got another one of these as well. I like the uh, aerofoils. I think they're called or flaps. And then uh, you've got this as well. So just mirrored, really duplicate parts, but mirrored. Uh, you've got these which, oh, so you've got the stand and you've got the base and all of these parts, which, which includes the front assault ramp, I think. That is bent as anything as well. So be prepared to get the hairdryer for that. This looks quite solid. This is like one of the dividers, you can tell. You've got these, which I don't think I've seen these before. These uh, runners, not quite sure what they're for. Uh, I think these are for the stands, for the feet, landing gear. Uh, you've got these container type parts. You've got this top section. And you've got the LAS cannons, famous LAS cannons. Um, you can opt to have these or the missiles. I'm gonna go for the LAS cannons, I think. They look quite cool, might as well use them. And then you've got the feet for the landing gear, those two, uh, two feet. And then this is part of the top as well, I think. And then this venting system and like a little command console thing. And then I've got the final bag. So only three bags with this. Um, and those larger pieces that we saw at the start. Uh, so you've got the uh, engines, part of the thrusters. They look all right. Yeah, they look fine. No issues there. Uh, you've got the missile pods, which look amazing. These are like one of my favorite parts of the whole kit. And they've got issues. <laughs> there are some, all kinds of uh, like separation issues in between each of the, uh, uh, that's gonna be a fair amount of cleanup and there's some air bubbles that have burst and the same for this side and there's also some uh, framing issues as well. But on the tips as well, they've got hollow tips. Hollow tip missiles, there we go. But I like the back. They look really cool though. Can't wait to put them on. Looks beefy. Uh, you've got these. I'm quite sure what they are, part of the fuselage maybe, and then you've got these two uh, uh, wing tips or whatever. So not a huge amount of uh, parts uh, for this one. Definitely more in the Fire Raptor. You know, Fire Raptor is six pounds more, but it can't hold any troops. This is the thing. You have to go in the, the troop capacity for the Avenger bolt cannon and the, the two turret uh, weapons, um, whereas this, has the rockets, has the uh, LAS cannons, and it can transport uh, 20 Space Marines. Uh, and you can use it in Horus Heresy as well, you know, so as a, as a decent flyer. I just think it looks so much better than the uh, flying potato that is the Storm Raven, um, you know, and I've got a few Storm Ravens already, but uh, yeah, hoping to build up my Air Force 
hoping to build up my fly collection you know i'm kind of done with titans for the meantime and uh, so my focus uh has been and will be on flyers and dreadnoughts um and maybe a couple of tanks now and again like the like i recently got the falchion and the and the glaive so um yeah there you go that is my unboxing and first look at the uh, space marine storm eagle assault drop assault gunship uh, I just call it a drop ship, but there we go. Um, what do you guys think uh, of this uh, Storm Eagle? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.